Hey, what's up, folks? How are we doing, man? It's Nolan here. Today, answering questions for you guys. Today's question that you guys sent me was um, about workout routines and um, who had the strangest workout routine of any player that I played with in the major leagues. Um, and so I had to think about this for a little bit, not too long, because somebody's really stuck out. And here's the thing that person was actually. Um, one of the strength and conditioning coaches. He was kind of like an advisor to the to the team, but he specialized in some of the strength and conditioning stuff. But he played in the major leagues for a long time, and he hit 50 homers, I think, one year. And it was Brady Anderson um, when I was with the Baltimore Orioles. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember Brady Anderson. If you're younger, you might not. But um, he had a humongous year one year. I think he hit 50 home runs. You know, a lot of people were talking about, oh, he's on steroids and all this stuff. Um, I had a chance to be with him for a season. And this guy is a physical specimen. And I don't know how old he was. And he wasn't playing anymore. Like I said, he was helping the team. But he was an absolute specimen. I'm going to give you some of the workout routines that he did. And, you know, from, the, from talking with him and uh, being around him, you know, I think he did a lot of these things when he was playing. In fact, I went online and checked it out. After I watched him do this stuff as like a 40-something-year-old guy, um, I went online and checked it out. And he was doing the same stuff or a lot of the same stuff back in, uh, when he was playing. So really interesting stuff we'll talk about. Here's the thing when I think about, before I get into exactly what he did, here's the thing when I think about workout routines. Um, a lot of the teams I played with, the workout routines were really similar. Um, you know, most of the teams, it was like, let's not do anything crazy. Let's not go too heavy. You know, high reps, low weight. Some of the teams were like body weight stuff a lot. And that was how it was for through most of the teams I was with. Um, until I got to the Orioles and they were like the complete diff they were completely different. They were basically like, we are going to lift heavy, get huge and kick your ass. Like that's the feel I got. Like if out of all the teams I played for, I would not want to get a bench playing brawl against that team because we were like, the team was humongous. Um, and you know, I think they obviously like big physical guys, but they, the way they trained was so much different than every other team I, I played with. We lifted heavy, we lifted a lot. Um, we went high weight, lower reps. And to be honest, the best I ever felt during a season, I wasn't with them super long, they ended up sending me over to New York. Um, but the best I felt during the season with Baltimore because I never felt sore, yet I kept my strength. And it was the first time I tried to lift heavier with lighter weight or with lighter, lower reps. And I didn't feel as sore, but I felt strong. And I really enjoyed it because I really like lifting weights. And if I didn't lift weights, I lost a ton of weight. It was really strange. Like when most people don't work out for a little bit, they gain weight. I would like lose all my weight super fast if I didn't work out heavy during the season. I never did with most of my teams because usually it was like I worked out super hard in the off season. And then once the season started, you know, most of the teams were like, no, 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 don't lift too heavy. You don't want to hurt yourself. And Baltimore was different. So let's talk about them and what, what I saw Brady Anderson do. Um, in Baltimore, we lifted, we did things that I didn't do at any other team. So we did like overhand presses, which I didn't see done anywhere else. We did like, um, they would have us do like these, I don't even know what you consider them, like gymnastic moves. You'd get up, they'd have you like these two little handle things you put on the ground, you push yourself up, and you would try to do like a handstand basically. And I couldn't do a handstand to save my life, but they would have us do a handstand. Some guys could do a handstand and then go down and like do a press. Um, really, really crazy stuff. So Brady Anderson was actually one of the guys that would help guys do this stuff. And he was like, okay, he was, I don't know how old he was when I was there. It was 2013, when was I in Baltimore? 2012. He had been out of the league for a while, but he was absolutely yoked out of his mind. Like he would always work out. He'd always never have a shirt on in the weight room. He had like zero body fat and just like could basically kick anybody's ass, but he hadn't played in a long time. So I can only imagine the, the shape he was in when he played. Now I think he was still lifting. I don't know if it was competitively or what, but he was a strong SOB. Um, the craziest thing I saw him do is I saw him jump on a physio ball. If you guys know what a physio ball is, it's one of those like big ball, you know, those big colored balls that guys will usually do like, you know, maybe you'll get on and do like um, a core routine or something. That's usually what it's what it's for. He could jump on this thing 
okay, and balance on it, which go ahead and try this. Or maybe don't go ahead and try this because you're going to hurt yourself. Um, but it is impossible to do. I don't even know how you do it. So he would jump up and balance on it. And then he would do it with um, weight on his back. So like he'd have a squat bar, a bar that he would squat with on his back. And he'd have weight on there. I don't know how much weight. I don't remember exactly. Maybe like 135 or maybe even a little bit more. And he would get on this ball with that on. And he could do a full squat. He could go down, squat below parallel, and then come up. It was like the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it's impossible. And he would do it like it was nothing. And everyone would watch him and be like, what the hell? Um, just super crazy. So he'd do that stuff. He would do the gymnastic stuff where he could do a handstand. He could hold it there forever. He could do a push-up out of that. You know, really crazy stuff that a lot of the techniques I think he used when he played. And I'm not saying, you know, now everyone's going to go out and try to do that so they can hit 50 home runs. I don't know if that was, you know, but I, I think the strength training part of it um, and just the, the overall body awareness, the, the core strength, uh, to be able to stabilize on that ball, everything was amazing that he was, that he was able to do. And, um, definitely by far the strangest stuff I saw, but I, I think the biggest thing I liked about not only him, uh, but the pro, the, the entire Orioles program is that they were willing to try stuff that maybe was a little bit unconventional, that they felt strong about that would work. And it wasn't just like every other team where it was like, okay, let's not touch any weights because everyone can get hurt. But they actually went out and said, no, we're going to get bigger and stronger and faster. Um, and those players, thinking about the players, how strong they were on the team, like, you know, we had Chris Davis on the team who, you know, I think I saw bicep curl more than anyone I've ever seen. He was humongous. Um, Jake Arrieta was on that team, and he was ridiculously athletic and strong for a pitcher. Um, he was like, yoked, he was same thing, yoked out of his mind, like super, super strong, um, really powerful. We had a lot of the Kaiser machines that would measure kind of, you know, power um, output and all that stuff. And he was like ridiculously strong. But that whole team was like, was crazy strong. So um, hopefully that gives you a, a, an idea of Brady Anderson. You can go up back and look him up now and see how he was just, you know, a monster back in the playing days. But um let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Check out Instagram, Anthony on Baseball, Twitter, Free Man, Anthony Nine. I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.